Have you ever been goosed? Woo! Well, I've got something cool for you today. It's a galloping goose. It's a mix of automotive and rail technology. In real life, it was from the 30s to the 50s they ran these things. Why, you ask? Well, the Rio Grande Southern, like a lot of smaller entities of the day, had narrow gauge rail service in Colorado, ran into financial difficulties, and they came up with these things to be able to maintain their contract for mail delivery, and then also, I guess, lighter freight and, and passengers as well. Um, to smaller communities along the narrow gauge rails. Anyway, the galloping goose part, it's theorized, was because it's, I guess, galloping maybe to symbolize the horsepower of one of these things, but the goose because the narrow gauge tracks were alleged to be in crummy condition, so these things would wobble back and forth along the way, and I guess that's kind of like a goose if you believe that story. Anyway, if you know the real stats, go ahead and post them in the comments. If you happen to be Larry Galloping Goose, the great-great-great-grandson of Carl Galloping Goose, who invented these, then please do comment. I'm kidding, of course. So I have not one but two of these that I scored off of eBay in a double deal. So there's this one. This is Protosound 3 and made by MTH for those who are O-Gage nuts. And then I have over here... Under the watchful eye of Beast Man and Manny Faces and Battle Armor He Man, the uh, Galloping Goose number six. So I'm going to run both of these and you can enjoy. Here's number six. And rounding this bend, old number seven. And as I mentioned, it was really easy to unscrew the front cab and buy some O-Gage people off of Amazon that are in the seated, uh, seated position, rather, and just glue them in. You know, these are pretty wacky, cool little transporters. From the 30s to the 50s, these ran in Colorado, and I think all but one of them still exist. Uh, and several, I think, are in, like, tourist operation and so on. Google them, read up, if it's of interest. Let's see if I can get both of them in a frame. Hot diggity. Thanks for tuning in.